According to the Defense POW MIA Accounting Agency, today there are still more than 83,000 American troops missing in action. Those who have served and those currently serving in the uniformed services of the United States are ever mindful that the sweetness of enduring peace has always been tainted by the bitterness of personal sacrifice. Thus, we are compelled to never forget that while we enjoy our daily pleasures, there are others who have endured and may still be enduring the agonies of pain, deprivation, and internment. Please be seated. We will now honor our MIA POWs with the following ceremony. You may have noticed this small table set in a place of honor. It is set for one. This table is our way of recognizing the kindred feeling that members of our profession of arms are missing from our midst. Commonly called POWs or MIAs, we call them brothers. They are unable to be here with us, so we remember them. This table set for one is small. It symbolizes the frailty of one prisoner against his oppressors. The tablecloth is white. Symbolizing the purity of their intentions to respond to their country's call to arms. The single rose displayed in a vase reminds us of the families and loved ones of our comrades in arms who keep faith while awaiting their return. The red ribbon, tied so prominently on the vase, is reminiscent of the red ribbon worn on the lapels and breasts of thousands who bear witness to their unyielding determination to demand a proper accounting for our missing. The plate. Which is black. Signifies the absence of color. A slice of lemon is placed on the plate to remind us of their bitter fate. There is salt upon the bread plate, symbolic of family tears as they wait. The glass is inverted. They cannot toast with us today. The chair. The chair is empty. They are not here. Remember all of you who served with them and call them comrades. You who depend on their might and aid and relied upon them, do not forsake them. Pray for them and remember them. The POW MIA flag, least we not forget. Lord, shelter the prisoners of war and those missing in action. Open the hearts and minds of their captors that they may be restored to their homes and loved ones. Each has carried the burden of battle, each has been subjected to hazard, pain, and imprisonment beyond the lot of the soldier. O oh Lord, these gallant men and women who bear so great a burden must not be forsaken. 
God of justice to whom we pray, the compassion we beseech. Lift their burden, give them strength, and strike the shackles that deny them freedom. Amen. Ah. Uh...